you're a business owner and you're not making outbound calls with AI yet, you're leaving deals and dollars on the table. In this video, I'm going to show you how to exactly make outbound calls with a VAPI. And I'm not just going to cover the theory. This is what we do at Sonar. We do it for clients, we do it for partners, and you can simply take it and make it and tailor it for your business. So here's the plan. I'll walk you through the tools we need, and then we will actually implement this. I will be providing the assets in the description so you can just download them and paste them into your own business. Stick around, this is gonna be an interesting video, so let's get started. All right, so for starters, I will be providing the VAPI prompt that I am using here, in case you want to take the same path or just repurpose it for yourself. And yeah, we're not gonna do much here in VAPI. We simply put the first message and I say, hi, lead name, and then we put all the information here. Now, we would go and click Publish once we have all the prompt in place. And then what we will need from VAPI are two things. One is the phone number, and second is the YouTube or the agent ID. So the agent ID, perhaps it's easier to start with this one. We get it from the agent directly. So you will find it here under the title. So you just copy that one. And then what we do is that we come into this Google Sheet that I will be also providing in the description down below. And you will see that there are two fields on the top right that are Assistant ID and VAPI phone number ID. And what we do is that we replace these ones. So we just copied the Assistant ID and paste it here. And as I said, we will need the VAPI phone number ID. So we go back to VAPI, no, this one, oh, okay, it changed. Uh, and then we go to phone numbers and VAPI allows for free VAPI phone numbers. You just place a country code. Bear in mind that this is in the US. So yeah, that's important to note. You just put a, any country code and if it does tell you that it's not available, just take any of the available ones. I mean, just for, for, for yeah, show you how it works, just put a random. Couldn't create a phone number. Okay, yeah, I think I added too many phone numbers. Anyways, you just create a phone number um, and then it will be added to you. I already have my phone number, so I don't really need that. So what we do now is we copy the ID of the phone number, which you found you find here next to the phone number. We go back to the Google Sheet and we copy, paste, and voila. Good, we're all set from the ID and that phone number ID. Now, what you want to do is to replace these values for, let's say, your field. So I have my own phone number here, my name, and email tr call true or false so this is pretty much if we want this number to be called or not in my case i want to call this number and what happens is that once our agent calls this number this will become false does that make sense so what we want to do for the numbers that we want to call is to keep them for, as true when it comes to a first call connected, that is something that will be automatically populated by our agent. Okay, so we are also set with our Google Sheet. Now, what we need to do is to head into our make.com scenario that will allow for this call to come through. And what you need to do here is to import the blueprint that I will be providing to you. Um, you just download it and then you choose a file you select that file and what happens is that you will be presented with this now once you're presented with this we will need to make a few adjustments to the modules to make them fit your accounts google sheet and vapi the first thing is that we need to connect to our google sheet account and now i don't have mine already connected so what we do is that we do it together just notice that the title is not properly written then create maybe i just use the same name as the title and i log in amazing i just logged in so now i am in yeah i connected my account 
And what we need to do is to select the correct spreadsheet. Okay, I am now logged in. And what we will need to do is to select the correct spreadsheet. In my case, it's already selected. It's called YouTube Outbound. It's very important that the spreadsheet is the correct spreadsheet. And yeah, if you are having trouble with the Google Sheet and it might be likely that you do, what you can do is simply change the title of the spreadsheet. So for example, I can just call it my VAPI Outbound. I just copy it and go back. Actually, I recommend you do this. Just change this YouTube thingy and make it my, for example, and then come here and then refresh. And what you do is you will see my VAPI Outbound. Yeah, just to make sure that we are selecting the correct sheet. Good. Call ID, we set it to true. So that means that we only call the people that are selecting true, which is in our case, yeah, it's we are selecting true. We save and yeah, now we pretty much take all the fields that are interesting to us into the mod, the aggregator. And what we do is that we take the iterator in order to iterate on each contact that we have on our list. So in this case, we only have one contact, which is me. But in case we had, for example, yeah, like a different person, let's say it's it's called Mo, and it's like Mo at Mo.com, and we set it to true, then this would call both of these people, and it would kind of iterate through those contacts that we have in our list. I'll just delete this one, because we don't need that. Okay, so now onto the fun part, and here, we make the API request to get a call, so to get an assistant from VAPI. And this is where we are using the assistant ID that we selected before. And what this does is that it retrieves the assistant onto our scenario. And then what we make with the next HTTP module is that we actually initiate the call. So one gets, and it's thus a method get, we get the assistant and then with the assistant, we make a call. Now, in order to have these working, you will have to create your own yeah, API keys and yeah, connect them to the make scenario. So let's do that together. And what we can do is just name it after how we go. Oh yeah, we called it YouTube Web Outbound. Let's just do that as well. So YouTube IP bound, and we need to put the API key. So how do we get the API key? You head over to org settings, API keys, and you will see private API key. You simply copy this one. You go back to make and voila, that's pretty much it. And in API key parameter name, we add authentic. Oh no, sorry, authorization. I think I spelled that wrong. Anyways, yeah, we put here authorization and we save. And boom, that is pretty much it. That's all you need to do here. You save and we make sure we remember YouTube VAPI outbound. We save it and we go back here. And what we do is we do YouTube VAPI outbound as well. We just select the same credentials. We save again and boom, that is it. So now we should be ready. Let's perhaps test it one more time to see if we get any errors. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, that should be working. Okay, I just received a notification that I got a call uh, incoming. So I have to decline it now. And yeah, I think uh, we can pretty much test it. So let's hit. So yeah, we are now ready to test it. So let's select run once. Let's wait for the call to arrive. Hey, I am doing good, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. This is Serena calling from Tranquil Water Spa. We have a special introductory offer I thought you might be interested in. Do you have a quick moment? Yeah, sure. Wonderful. To welcome new guests, we're offering a 25% discount on your first massage or facial. When was the last time you treated yourself to some proper relaxation? Oh, it's been two years, it's been a long time. Whether it's been a while or you're due for your next one, taking time for yourself is so important. To make sure we book the perfect treatment for you and apply that 25% discount, would you like me to schedule a brief chat with one of our spa coordinators? Yeah, or sure. perhaps look for- That'd be great. Great, I can see we have your name as your name and number as your phone number. Are those details correct? All right, so that was it. A pretty simple setup with Make Vapi and Google Sheet, which I, say, I think can be very powerful. Now bear in mind, this is a very simple setup that you can build. There are some nuances that you need to be, let's say, careful of when you want to build these yourself for real use cases. 
So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I do have a link in the description for free consultations that you can book directly with me or simply drop a comment and I'll get back to you. All right, with that said, I thank you so much and we'll see you in the next one.